I had a baby. I am in the hospital recovering, holding my sweet daughter Alice about 36 hours after delivery. And she is just everything, everything we ever hoped and prayed for. So precious and so perfect. I just couldn't be happier. Alrighty, Sierra. What you got there? What do I have here? <laughs> Our child. <laughs> it is... Let's see. Is it? Uh, <laughs> it is. A, it is 11 p.m. at night. That's yeah, what it is, and it is about night. 36 hours after this little nugget joined us. My recovery has been like night and day from last time with Grace. Like the way I feel now is like way better than I did even when I went home. Even like probably I feel right now probably like I did like a week postpartum. I agree. 36 hours postpartum. I got my catheter out at 18 hours. I've been like wire free since like noon today. Cause yep. They had to like keep the IV and stuff in until 24 hours yeah. and I was just like itching to be done and free and yeah. pain rises and falls here and there but Primarily on Tylenol, Ibuprofen Yeah You're doing good, yeah. baby's doing good, baby's doing great She's amazing, she's so perfect and so cuddly Yep, she just fed so she's a little sleepy Sierra was doing some cuddles before putting her back in her bed I think, I think we're gonna sleep better tonight than we did last night. If the last two hours are indicative of anything, yeah, I think that the chances are in our favor. We're feeding her every three hours, but last night she wasn't like sleeping during all of that time. Yeah. So we were up a lot, whereas now I think hopefully, because well, that's what just happened, we'll feed you, you'll sleep, we'll sleep, and then we'll feed you again. Yep. Grace came to visit today. Twice. Twice. <laughs> <laughs> She's so sweet and so excited. You have the best big sister in the whole world. She was so cute. She just wanted to be here and be snuggled up with me and brushing Alice's hair and showing <laughs> Alice the drawings that she made and just talking to her, singing to her. It like... It is crazy. Like she totally gets what's going on. Yeah. And she totally gets like how gentle to be. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure uh, we'll have things to work on, but like initial impressions are very high. Yeah, she's doing amazing. I just love, I, I could have watched Grace with Alice all day. She was so sweet. Yeah. And I could just watch you all day, and I have, and I will. Yeah, today has been relatively easy, all things considered. Last night we were up a lot, but I think we figured out. I think we figured out latching. Yeah. And I think that's the difference is she, even though it's still just the colostrum, like, well, and actually, I think right now my milk is probably coming in. It's like transitioning in. I think it'll be in by tomorrow morning. Yeah, you guys in your latching dance. Yes. I think you're, uh, you're learning each other a lot more. Yeah, Which, dare I say, is kind of adorable. And Steven has been the most amazing help. Could not be more hands-on yeah. in every way. <laughs> helping me with all the things I need. I say baby. expect better. No, you go I'm above and beyond. I'm super happy to help. Every expectation. Kenzie was here helping. My mom was here helping. Got great support. This, the nursing staff and the lactation consultants have been amazing. Anything else? I don't really have much to add because it is 11 o'clock at night. Um, it's been good. This has been a good experience. I think it was a little nerve-wracking getting to this point, but everything went as well as it could have gone. You know, minus the whole fact that Sierra had a big abdominal surgery done, but she's recovering super well. So, anyone... I could have kind of watched you go through that. I'm very proud of you, yeah. including me. I was kind of nervous about the delivery. I was thinking, well, I'm, I'm uninformed for one, and I thought 37 weeks was a little early. But after more research in mind, I think that's not super early. Definitely not super early. But anyways, um, Sierra was awake for the uh, procedure again, the surgery. I joined her for the surgery again. So with any C-section, especially ones probably at 37 weeks, the NICU team is actually in there ready to take care of baby. Um, as soon as they got her out, the NICU team evaluates her, um, and they actually have a NICU doctor down there. And I know the NICU doctor left pretty early, so that was a good sign. But I kind of, I stayed back with Sierra behind the tarp, so I didn't know exactly what was going on. But when I saw the NICU doctor leave, I was like, I don't know what's going on, but I imagine it's good. And great, uh, Alice and I stayed with Sierra the entire surgery. He literally walked out with her as she walked out, so. Another thing Sierra voiced early on was concerns about pain management. She kind of felt like last time um, there was like a gap in pain management and it really affected those initial like time with baby. Her doctors, the anesthesiologist, like took those concerns, they listened to them, and they made sure like she was super comfortable with the pain management plan that there wouldn't be any gaps. And that was totally what happened. There was no gaps. Um, just the whole experience is better. Like from pain management, 
from like how comfortable and confident you feel navigating what's going on. I think everything was just really high and Sierra successfully got to hold baby for a long time. <laughs> and I breastfed after an hour, an hour after birth. Yeah. So. Which I think was really big on getting our, our early success of breastfeeding. Yeah. Everything worked out well and I think you had this time around, the, the word I've been using was like the first time there was a lot of fear. And I think the fear with like this high level of pain was just like really scary last time. Mm -hmm. Not a single dose of fear this time. Mm, I agree. Not to speak for you, but no, as, 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 as your partner who observes you, yeah. there is no fear. I think that then lets you kind of take this with confidence. Yeah, and just take the pain for what it is. Yeah, like 10 hours after surgery, <laughs> they're trying to get something underneath Sierra, then Sierra like lifts her torso up, does a little crunch in bed, and I was like, whoa, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I have high expectations that you're gonna just feel better a lot quicker. Yeah, I feel really good, like physically, emotionally, everything, yeah. hormonally. <laughs> I'm a little hot flashy, but other than that. Yeah, the room's a little warm. <laughs> this uh, thermostat looks like it was built in the 80s, so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just thrilled. I kept telling Kenzie yesterday, like, uh, I feel like everything just went so well. Like, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. It did. And I feel like this C-section birth was very healing for me. Yeah. After last time. Which and is crazy because it also was like, we had two days notice of like, hey, you're going to give birth two weeks earlier. Yeah. And it went super well. Yeah. And everything worked out perfect. And I remember Monday when we heard the news. Monday we found out. It was like, hey, Wednesday we're going to have the C-section. And that's two weeks early. So that was a little startling. But I remember thinking and like, kind of like, you know, praying. I mean, like, I hope the hardest part is like this part of figuring out how to push things around. Other than the part where it felt like someone was sitting on my stomach while they rearranged my organs. Yeah, other than the whole like, you know, <laughs> abdominal surgery thing. Um, yeah. But like, we were going to have to do that part anyways. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's exactly it. It's like, from, like, yeah, I mean, specifically from the moving it two weeks early, like the differences of that included, the only thing that got added was specifically Monday, because Tuesday we were, <laughs> we had accepted fate. It was a Monday for like six hours, being really scared of the uncertainty. Other than that, it's been perfect. It's played out well which is a blessing um yeah so i think so i can stay with like a standard c-section healing i can stay for up to four nights this is night two i think i'm gonna do just one more yeah um i feel like i probably could go home tomorrow but i think one more i'll be like really really set up for success yeah i think i can see us tomorrow night being like twiddling our thumbs a little bit yeah like, all right <laughs> but i think also tonight's gonna be steven's last night is the plan yeah go home have a night with grace Sarah wants to, uh, me to go back home with Grace and yeah. give her some sense of normalcy before <laughs> the normalcy changes all over. Yeah. So. so I think Kenzie's going to come be with me tomorrow night. Steven's going to home and go home and be with Grace. And then we'll all go back home together Saturday afternoon. Yeah. And, and then it's Easter on Sunday. My favorite part of all this <laughs> is like, so when we found out Monday that C-section was in two days, like the third thing on Sierra's mind was like, holy crap, what do we do about Easter? I was like, Sierra, who gives a crap about Easter? Like, I don't care about Easter. <laughs> like, <laughs> we have so much bigger things going on. She's like, but Grace needs to look for eggs in the backyard. I was like, we'll do it next week or the following week. But serious point, we will have a nice little Easter on real Easter Sunday. Yeah. With our sweet baby Alice. Alice was not supposed to enjoy Easter this year. I'm so happy you're here. Anyways, uh, we'll wrap up some snuggles here. It is now midnight, so we should get some sleep. I'll check in later. Good morning. <laughs> you guys want to see my biggest flex right now? Watch me walk all the way to the bathroom with no assistance. No help, no nothing. Feels so good to be able to like be so mobile. So, so good. <laughs> like, oh, I can move, I can bend, kind of, sort of. I can do pretty, pretty much most things unassisted. Um, and right now it is uh, about 7.30. Alice isn't due to feed for like another hour, um, but the doctor had just woken me up to check in on me, do a little assessment of my incision site and stuff. Um, so I feel kind of awake now, so. I just changed into a nursing bra because my milk did, in fact, come in last night and I'm feeling the need for that extra support now. And uh, my cute little postpartum robe, put on, I put on some fresh mesh underwear um, and I'm gonna get myself ready a little bit. I just ordered some breakfast too, so that'll probably be here in a little bit and we'll get the day going. Get ready with me in the hospital. <laughs> So feeding went 
so well last night and we also like slept a good amount i feel like you know it was very broken up because of the feeds but i feel like between each feed we got at least like i don't know an hour and a half stretch sometimes two hours of sleep and i was able to like get back to bed pretty quickly after the feeds and then alice was sleeping really well between her feeds so other than like you know feeding her we didn't really have to be awake too much for her like i'd probably guess that i got i don't know like five hours six hours of sleep total so i feel really good like ready to to be awake now and get to cuddle and hold her between the feeds i'll probably try to nap for at least like a stretch or two later today but for right now i feel good i feel ready to be awake i don't think steven's quite on that level yet i think he's gonna try to sleep up until the next feed um and then my visit with the ob this morning was good she said the incision looks good i'm healing well everything you know is green flags on her end she said if i wanted to go home today i could um but she was also totally on board with me staying another night but i think i'm for sure gonna head home tomorrow like unless things take a drastic change i don't see myself needing that fourth night so i can't remember if i said this but with the c-section they said a typical stay is like two to four nights i can be released you know as early as two nights or i can stay as long as four nights if i want to and i think three seems really good to me oh you know what else i think helped us get better sleep last night too is i feel like alice's feeds are more efficient and i'm getting her latched quicker so instead of you know a feed taking 45 minutes or an hour all said and done we're able to do all that in like 20 minutes oh also i'm so glad that I straightened my hair before the C-section. I wanted to do that just so that it was like super low maintenance and it has been. Like I don't even feel like it's like itchy yet or I need to wash my hair yet. Just like as low maintenance as possible. But also like I still feel kind of cute and like supposedly today is when uh, the like photographer comes around. They have like a, a newborn and postpartum photography thing that you can do, which they weren't doing when we had Grace because of COVID. But now that is back. So I think they're gonna come by today and take some pictures, which will be fun. But yeah, that's my little uh, morning update. We'll give uh, a little outfit of the day we've got the mesh underwear i have the belly binder i've been wearing it sometimes but currently just wanted to let my belly and my skin breathe a little bit it gets kind of itchy i feel like the swelling's gone down quite a bit nursing bra robe there's a little tie i totally dropped it it must be in my suitcase all right i am going back into the room see i, I dropped my deodorant on the little shower chair but i can bend and get it myself night and day from the emergency c-section night and day oh, i think my food just got here hello it's breakfast all right i'm off to devour a breakfast burrito i have been so hungry so glad i packed all the snacks that i did because I've definitely been making use of those steven got a breakfast sandwich i got a breakfast burrito <laughs> burrito one <laughs> burrito two <laughs> Oh, also, other huge key to the puzzle for me actually sleeping last night between feeds. Eye mask. This guy, amazing. I feel like I can sleep through anything with this. Girls night! Girls, night. <laughs> girls are growing hospital edition. Oh my gosh. We've had some crazy nights together, but I think this is gonna... It's gonna be top of the list. This is the best by far. Steven's back home. I can't believe you're here. You're like, seriously, the truest MVP for doing this. I am so... Happy that I get to be here with you guys. <laughs> so we're gearing up for the night here. It's been a, a really easy, like fairly uneventful day. Feeding's still going really well. I took a shower. <laughs> you know, pain comes and goes, but has never really gotten like too bad. So overall, I feel like I'm just, I'm healing really well. Alice is doing great and I just couldn't be happier. Um, but we just ate some dinner. I got, I gave Alice her dinner, got her fed. So I think uh, now is the time to sleep until her next feed in like two hours. With that, I'm gonna go to bed and uh, confirmed officially I'm getting discharged tomorrow as well Alice. And so this is our last night in the hospital. Night night. <laughs> Good morning. It is 7 a.m. We did it. We made it. We did it and it went great. Yeah, it was actually a really easy straightforward night again kind of like last night where it was just pretty regular cycles she ate she slept she ate she slept we slept we didn't eat but we're about to eat just ordered breakfast really can't ask for more and it was just so 
nice to have Kenzie here and we got lots of time to talk and hang and I talked in my sleep apparently. You always do. <laughs> <laughs> it was like 10 minutes before we were gonna actually like wake up and see her pulls on her eye mask. She goes, I'm about to go to sleep, how about you? <laughs> it's like, we've been asleep for two hours. <laughs> Steven got to have a, a good night's sleep before we come home today and start all the newborn and postpartum recovery at home. All things considered, I feel like the C-section and my recovery and like my whole hospital stay and experience has gone about as, as well as it could have. And like in a lot of ways, I think it was really healing for me after I, what I went through last time. And I just feel so much more confident in like my ability to go home and continue this recovery and take care of Alice. All right, we are heading out of here. All right, we are about to drive home. We did it. We did it. A little less crazy this time around. Yep. And you did good. Thank you. So proud of you. All right, I think that's the last thing I'm gonna film for now. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.